What's good, Ravens fans? Today, we're going to count down the top defensive backs on the Ravens roster this season. Uh, we're going to hop right in with number one. Of course, it's Marlon Humphrey. Guys, we have to really give kudos to Marlon Humphrey because he is back at Pro Bowl form after last season where he missed the second half of the season with the injuries. Marlon Humphrey is just as good as he's ever been. If you guys watch the games, which I'm sure you guys have, I've watched the film. Teams don't even want to throw at Marlon Humphrey unless they have a world-changing cornerback. We've only seen teams like the Buccaneers throw at him when they have Mike Evans lined up on him. Teams like the Dolphins throw at him when they have Tyreek Hill in his area. It's just been a great, great season for Marlon. We've seen that he's able to do all the things that he was able to do before. He's still excellent at man coverage. He is one of the best corners in the league when it comes to playing in the slot. He's excellent at zone coverage, he's excellent at blitzing, he's excellent at run defense. He is again one of the premier cornerbacks in the league this year. Um, again, there's a lot of talented cornerbacks now. Again, as the game has changed and teams have thrown the ball more, college has provided additional cornerbacks. It seems like every year there's a number one cornerback coming out in the top five. Um, so again, he might not be in a lot of people's top five cornerbacks in the league, but he is certainly, certainly on the cusp. And at the very least, very least, a top seven cornerback in the National Football League. Um, the only thing that really goes against him is the overall team defense, right? Um, other cornerbacks, uh, like, for example, the one that plays in Denver, they have a top defense. Um, when you have a top defense, of course, you're going to be held in higher regard. The Ravens do not have a top defense. Uh, so, again, that will be a ding on Marlon Humphrey. But if you look at it on a play-by-play -play basis, I would argue that Marlon Humphrey has been one of the best cornerbacks in the league because he never gets beat and he always is there to make a play, even when it's hard to make that play. Number two has to be Marcus Williams. Now, again, Marcus Williams does get this spot because of what he did in the beginning part of the season. He's been hurt for most of the season, but last year he was the top coverage corner in football. This year he started off the season, I believe out of four or five games, he had four interceptions. So again, I think there's only one game he played where he did not have an interception in the first four games. This is just impressive and this is excellent. Again, he is going to be a great part of our defense when he gets back. Now, the truth is that our cornerbacks and our DBs um, haven't missed him that much only because the people who have filled in for him, some of them who have made this list, are playing excellent ball. Um, Geno Stone is playing excellent ball. Kyle Hamilton, excellent ball. Um, again, Chuck Clark is always good. He's going to be good. Um, he might not be at the high levels, in my opinion, but he's still a great, great uh, defensive back and safety. So. Altogether, I do honestly think that uh, Marcus Williams is still, in a talent perspective, the second best DB. When he gets back, hopefully he'll show us that. And the defense will finally be all together, ready to make our postseason run and hopefully win a Lombardi Trophy and bring it back to Baltimore. Number three, I have Kyle Hamilton. And I know you guys might be surprised that I have him this high because in the beginning of the season, I was disappointed in his play. I told you guys that I didn't think he was ready um, to play many snaps, but he's gotten better and better and better each season and is currently the highest rated defensive back by Pro Football Focus amongst rookies. This is something that is awesome for Kyle Hamilton. If you watch him play, again, the numbers from Pro Football Focus are one thing. But I, like I told you guys, I watch every game and I watch the game film. When it comes to Kyle Hamilton, he is at a level that is seldom seen in rookies. And he's playing just as well as Sauce Gardner is from the Jets. And the reason I say this is that he lines up in multiple defensive positions. He plays slot. He sometimes plays safety. He also plays middle linebacker in a lot of sets. They wouldn't classify as a middle linebacker, but it's very similar to what Chuck Clark does, right? Um, and it's just super impressive the ability he has to cover slots, to cover tight ends, sometimes even cover running backs coming out the backfield. So he makes tackles much more consistently than he did in the preseason at the beginning of the year. Um, he's always had that nose for the ball and he's still fast. He's still able to get to places across the field, even though it doesn't look like he's running fast. He has that game speed, right? Even though he doesn't run a fast 40, when it comes to the ball being in the air, he always gets there quickly. So it's going to be super impressive what he can do as his career blossoms and he kind of gets set in one position. 
the Ravens might continue to use him in different positions, but I think the reason that we're doing that is because we don't want to replace Chuck Clark yet, uh, Marcus Williams, and Geno Stone, uh, who have been playing at a high level. So he comes in where he fits in, but as a whole, I think he is playing excellent. And honestly, I cannot wait to see him in the future. Right now, he's the third best defensive back on our team, which is saying a lot because we have a lot of talented defensive backs on this team. Next, guys, I'm going to go with Geno Stone. I know this is, might be another surprise because there's another high profile defensive back we have. But this season, Geno Stone is balling. And sometimes it's important for us to call out the truth. And the truth is that Geno Stone has been a man on a mission, ladies and gentlemen. As we all know, there were some questions about his role coming into the season when you had players in front of him, like Chuck Clark, Kyle Hamilton, and Marcus Williams. However, it's evident that he is a starter in the NFL at the safety position, specifically that free safety deep third position that he's really, really good at. He's going to be hard to replace, and the Ravens are going to have some tough decisions to make, specifically whether they should keep him or Chuck Clark going into the future. Geno Stone has an 82.5 rating from Pro Football Focus, is one of the highest safeties in the league, and has one of the highest pass coverage ratings of any safety in the league. When Marcus Williams comes back, the coaching staff are gonna have to scheme up some things to make sure that Geno Stone still gets on the field because he's been playing at such a high level. Remember guys, when we are talking about these DBs that I've named so far, we're talking about four of the highest graded DBs in the National Football League. Kyle Hamilton is one of the highest graded. Geno Stone, one of the highest graded. Marcus Williams was the best coverage DB before he was injured. And then, of course, Marlon Humphrey is on the league of his own. All of these are excellent players. So pushing our number five option to number five isn't a bad thing. He's still a great cornerback, and that is Marcus Peters. Though Marcus Peters is a good cornerback, He's having some struggles this season, specifically when it comes to the deep ball and receivers who are really talented lining up on him. Teams have decided who they're going to attack in the Ravens offense. They're either going to attack different places in the zone, but if it's man-to-man -man coverage, they're going to attack Marcus Peters. Now, again, Marcus Peters often makes them pay. He's still a great ball hawk as a cornerback. However, the same issues that he's had in the past, he still currently has. He's going to look in the backfield, to see what the quarterback's eyes are doing. He's still going to jump routes to fill out interceptions. He's still going to try to make the big plays, even though it might be better to make the easy play. But again, it's some of that feast and famine that some players in the NFL have that you have to deal with, right? We've seen several times this year where the best receivers on the team beat Marcus Peters for long touchdown passes. We've seen it several times. However, we've also seen several times Marcus Peters be able to get his hand on a loose ball, force a fumble, uh, catch an interception, even though he's not doing it at the same pace he's done in the past. But he's still finding a way to make big plays and, again, have an impact on football games through turnovers and different mechanisms like that. He will always be a feast of famine player. That's always been his game. That's always been where he is. It's one of the reasons why he's on the Ravens. That, and of course, he has a penchant for uh, talking back to coaches. But we all know who he is and the plays that he can make when he gets an opportunity to make them. This is why he's number five on this list. He's still a top cornerback and in the top half of cornerbacks in the league uh, because he can still cover people. But when it comes to number ones, he can't cover them with the same regularity that he's been able to cover them in the past. It could be because of his injury. It could be because of his age. However, the truth is he just can't stick and handle number one receivers, especially when they're going deep. He just doesn't have the speed to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. A quick recap. Number one, we're going Marlon Humphrey. Number two, we're going Marcus Williams. Number three, we're going to go Kyle Hamilton. Number four, Geno Stone. And number five, Marcus Peters Juice Band. Let me know if you agree in the comment section below. I do this, guys, for you, for you guys to communicate with me. And that's all I really want is to talk to you guys and make great videos. Thanks, and go Ravens.